Timmy Turner is Danny Phantom. Wait, wait, wait. So to punish Timmy, they take away his godparents and age him 50 years. Oh my gosh. And nobody would have ever found out if it wasn't for Dooby Dooby Doo, the Wentworth Bros. I was watching SpongeBob the other day. Do you know Patrick is a secret genius? He's the stupidest one on the show. What are you talking about? There's an episode where Patrick falls off a cliff and his brain gets plugged back in. <laughs> and when that happens, he becomes a genius. He's the smartest guy in Bikini Bottom. He knows everything. He knows about biology, math. He knows, um, he knows music better than Squidward. Philosophy, he's got a solid thinking face. That's not the only time where Patrick becomes a genius. He makes like really high level comments about how to fly rocket ships. If you could make a big enough burp. We could filter the CO2 through our ballast tanks, refire the engines, and ride the shockwave out of here. Wow. He's a rocket scientist? And another episode with Patrick's secret box. Oh, yeah. He completely fools SpongeBob into thinking it's just a string inside. I mean, it's really a picture, an unflattering picture of SpongeBob. <laughs> At the Christmas party, how can you forget? But that's got it. That takes high-level thinking to trick SpongeBob like that. The inner mechanisms of his mind are an enigma. It's all an act for Patrick. Yeah, those early episodes of SpongeBob, that was the golden era of TV. What do you think were the best Nickelodeon shows of all time, though? Ooh, well, number one, SpongeBob. Ooh, I don't know. I might just put Avatar The Last Airbender up at number one. Okay, that's fair. I feel like that show had no business being on Nickelodeon with how deep it was. Yeah, that was something else. I'm going non-cartoon here. Drake and Josh. I see the problem. Oh, do ya? <laughs> oh, yes. That still holds up today. 100%. I think next, I'm going to go with Jimmy Neutron. Oh, great pick. The Brain Blast. You know, I'll take the second half of the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour and go with Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah, classic. Jimmy Neutron, boy genius. Timmy Turner. I think I got to round it out with Danny Phantom, though. Oh, what a surprise. I couldn't tell. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't expecting that one. Boom. He's a phantom. You know, Danny Phantom and Fairly Odd Parents were made by the same person. Oh, yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. Probably why they're both so good. You know, there's a theory that Timmy Turner is Danny Phantom. What? How? <laughs> Before Timmy turned 13, his final wish was to become Danny Phantom. So he wished to become a ghost so he didn't have to lose his fairly odd parents. A little loophole around aging. Because if you look at all the characters in both series, AJ and Chester are Dash and Tucker, Jazz is Vicky, Trixie is Paulina, and Tootie is Sam. All right, I, I think I can see the similarities there. They're definitely there. In one episode of The Fairly Odd Parents, Timmy's parents became ghost hunters. And in their house, they built a little laboratory, a ghost hunting lab. And on the wall in the back was a wanted Danny Phantom sign. I mean, that's basically the intro to Danny Phantom. So we have proof the worlds have collided. So there's some overlap there maybe from Timmy's wish. And we know Timmy has also wished before to never be born. So when he did that, maybe he created an alternate reality of him becoming Danny Phantom. Well, there was no Timmy, just Danny. And in order for Timmy to keep Cosmo and Wanda, he turns them into the ghosts that he fights to keep up the charade. I mean, they both have the same creator, storyboard artists for the show. And in a Danny Phantom short, Timmy Turner and Wanda even come through the ghost portal at some point. Yeah, that was such a great show. But, like, whatever happened to Danny Phantom? Danny Phantom basically got dropped for Avatar The Last Airbender. Oof, well, I mean, you can't argue that. Yeah, they wanted to focus on promoting that show, so they took a step back from Danny Phantom and only produced three seasons of that show. When I think they could have done so much with it. I don't see why they couldn't go... They couldn't air at the same time. I mean, they're two completely different shows. I don't think they're going to eat away at each other's audience. I know. And if they brought back Danny Phantom today, that'd be number one hit. Easily. Imagine like a live action superhero movie of Danny Phantom in like a Marvel style today. <laughs> that'd be top of the box office. Yeah, I can see a reboot of that making some easy money. But 
what other cartoons would you want to see a reboot of? What are the top cartoons that deserve a reboot? Well, we know Danny Phantom, number one. <laughs> Easy. Give me Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Yes. I need more of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Maybe when they're older or something. Ooh, yeah. That would be an interesting spin. Definitely. Have Eddie run a business instead of, like, coming up with all these neighborhood schemes. What about Courage the Cowardly Dog? Ooh, I don't know if I want that. That scared me. <laughs> they could do some crazy stuff with that. Make it into, like, a horror show, kind of like Black Mirror. Ooh. Give me a reboot of the OG Avatar The Last Airbender. They actually are rebooting that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, not like not like Legend of Korra. I mean... No, no. They bring him back Avatar The Last Airbender all grown up in a trilogy movie series. What? What? <laughs> yeah, I think 2025 it's, it's set to come out. Jeez, a trilogy. That's crazy. You know what show I loved on Nickelodeon was Cat Scratch. Yeah, that one went under the radar. I like that one. It needed way more episodes. It was such a good show. Waffles. <laughs> yes. I think it would be cool to see a live action version of Dexter's Laboratory. Oh, yeah. But darker. Right. You could get some sinister themes going on with that. One of the darkest Nickelodeon episodes I can remember, though, was uh, Timmy's Secret Wish. That special. I'm not sure if I remember that one. Timmy Turner made a forbidden wish where he and everybody else never ages yeah that sounds like it could have serious consequences and nobody would have ever found out if it wasn't for cosmo <laughs> when timmy gets put on trial after making his millionth wish for potentially being the worst godchild ever some evidence gets brought up that cosmo accidentally revealed that cosmo granted timmy a wish that he never ages so that he never has to lose them and he wished that Cosmo would also forget that he made that wish. Oh, that's smart. So to punish Timmy, they take away his godparents and age him 50 years. So he becomes an old man. Oh my gosh. And Timmy isn't able to really figure out how to live in this new world because it's so, it's so technologically advanced and he has no idea what's going on. But then he runs into Mr. Crocker and they team up to try and reset everything back to normal. They head into Crocker's cave because he has a portal into the fairy world there. <laughs> Timmy eventually gets a retrial in front of the fairies, and Wanda makes an appeal that he sacrificed himself in order for the good of others. And then Timmy ends up making a speech of how much his odd parents mean to him, and how he doesn't care if he ever makes another wish again, he just wants his odd parents. And it moves the entire jury, and he ends up getting Cosmo and Wanda back. And does he stay old or does he get younger? And then Father Time comes in and returns Returns it back to 50 years ago. Back to normal. Phew. <laughs> Poof.